DIY for you guys. I truly, truly, truly love doing these DIYs for you guys. So if you guys do too, please give it a thumbs up so I can know that you guys are truly enjoying it. And this week's DIY was inspired for a jewelry holder. I need a jewelry holder, so why not do jewelry holders? And if you guys want to see what they are, please stay tuned. So the supplies you're gonna need is gonna be polar brow, acrylic paint, a plate, a brush, and a hot glue gun. So after that, you're just gonna use a plate or wherever you guys want to put your paint. I chose these four colors because they complement each other so well. And this polar bear, I actually found it at Dollar Tree. So yeah, check out Dollar Tree for these little figurines of animals. And after that, you're just gonna put paint just basically anywhere you feel like it's it, it's gonna go well. And if you see that it needs a little bit color here and there, just try to put it here and there. And after you guys are done with that, let it dry and you're going to put a very generous amount of hot glue on the back of the uh, polar bear and you guys are going to put the plate on top. It is going to be a bit wobbly before but after it dries guys, it is not going to go anywhere, I promise you. And yeah, that's it for this first jewelry holder. For this second one, it's gonna be a frame, glitter, and scissors, and a cardstock and paper. So, all you're gonna do is take out everything from the frame, and you guys are gonna use the glass as a template for the cardstock and paper, and you're just gonna trace it and cut it. And after that, you're just gonna put the glass first on the frame, and after that, you're gonna add your glitter, of course, the fun part. See, puppy. And yeah, generous amount of glitter. And after you guys are done with the glitter, you guys are going to add the car stocking paper on top of it. And after that, just the back of the frame. And this is going to serve as a jewelry tray. And it will look better if you guys even use a bigger, a bigger frame. But yeah, I just decided to use this one because I was a little on the smaller side. And yeah, this completes the second jewelry holder. So the supplies you're going to need for this are two plates, a candle holder, and a hot glue gun. So all you guys are going to do is place the bigger plate on the bottom and you're going to hot glue the candle holder and place it in the center. And after you've done that, you put, you're going to put some more hot glue gun on the top of the candle holder and you're just going to place the smaller plate on the top. I did get these from the thrift store. They were like 40 cents each, which is pretty, pretty crazy. And yeah, basically two bucks for this candle holder and it was so, so cute. Bye guys. I know.